Mitch O'Farrell has served on the Los Angeles City Council since 2013. The two-term council member has been a well-known fixture in his district, which runs from Hollywood to Glassell Park. He laid the groundwork uh, for many things that will continue happening uh, in the future. Are there some highlights in, in your political career? A remarkable success in reducing homelessness over the last two years, especially in the Hollywood area because of the ecosystem, the infrastructure that we built. We've housed about a thousand people in the 13th district over the last two years alone. Hollywood alone represents a 57% reduction in homelessness, not because we've moved people away or displaced them or done any sweeps, because we don't do that. We have a model that works and I think it can be a model for the rest of the city. So that's a, a big success. We've made safety around our schools a priority. As the product of the public school system myself, it's a priority of mine to make sure that parents don't have to worry about their children as they go to and from school. All the streetscape improvements we've done across the district, we've really greened up the 13th district. Mm -hmm. We uh, eliminated Columbus Day from the city's administrative code. We replaced it with Indigenous Peoples Day and that accelerated the movement across the, the nation. I've always uplifted the arts. I freed up the arts development fee. So now we have arts projects across the city. As chair of the Energy and Environment Committee, we have pioneered some of the most ambitious but very doable climate change and environmental restoration initiatives anywhere in the United States. I'm leading in the transition to clean energy by 2035, something I'm very, very compassionate about and I'm hopeful that there will be someone else on the city council to take this charge because if we don't have a livable city in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. nothing else we do is really going to matter. So what's next for you? Any chance we're going to be seeing you back on stage or on screen? <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> uh, I'm not retiring. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of energy. Yes. I was never planning on higher office after this anyway. I want to make sure that my team of talented public servants um, have a career that they can enjoy well into the future because the city deserves to benefit from their talents. We have lots of lasting legacies that are visible now and will be visible into the future and people will benefit from them. Mitch, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you nothing but the very best in your future endeavors. Thanks, Anne. It's great to be here and I love Channel 35. Keep up the incredible work here. I'm Ann Police. Thanks for joining us.